morning, children. I hope you're well this Sunday. I'm glad to be here with you. My name is teacher Daisy Namai, and I'm glad to take you through this lesson today. And before we continue, I'd like us to have a word of prayer, and then we can begin. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we want to give you thanks and praise for bringing us here together, online or otherwise. We want to thank you for a good night's sleep. We thank you for taking care of us. We also want to thank you for your blessings, and we ask you to bless us with your word today. Thank you very much for all our parents, guardians, friends, and relatives who are also amongst us. Be with them wherever they are as well. We ask you to forgive us our sins and give us a fresh, um, a fresh start. And we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Great. So children, today we are going to have our lesson from uh, the Bible, definitely, and the source of new life in Jesus Christ. That is what we are going to speak about today. And our Bible reading will come from John 3, 1 to 18. Okay, children, I'd like you to join me to sing this wonderful song, and I'm sure you all know it, yeah? This is how it goes. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart down in my heart this day and I'm so happy so very happy I've found the love of Jesus in my heart and I'm so happy so very happy I've found the love of Jesus in my heart I've got the love 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 down in my heart down in my heart down in my heart, I've got the love, 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 love down in my heart. Down in my heart today, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've found the love of Jesus in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've found the love of Jesus in my heart. Fantastic. Now this song, you will understand that we need to have Christ in our lives and the joy, the peace, the love that he brings will always be in our soul. So be blessed as we go through the word. You will look up that uh, song and continue singing. Now, our memory verse will be read or said or recited by Azuri Kareu. And I want to welcome her to give us the memory verse. Thank you. Hi, my name is Azuri Michele. I have a memory verse today. It's, it's in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. It's saying, anyone who is joined to Christ is a new being, the old is gone the new has come thank you great now thank you very much azuri for the memory verse and i'd like us to go to the bible reading of john 3 1 to 18. open your bibles to john 3 1 to 18 and this is what it says it's about jesus and nicodemus there was a Jewish leader named Nicodemus who belonged to the party of the Pharisees. One night, he went to Jesus and said to him, Rabbi, we know that, uh, that you are a teacher sent by God. No one could perform the miracles you are doing unless God were with him. Jesus answered, I'm telling you the truth. No one can see the kingdom of God without being born again. How can a grown man be born again? Nicodemus asked. He certainly cannot enter his mother's womb and be born a second time, can he? I am telling you the truth, replied Jesus. No one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and of spirit. 
a person is born physically of human parents, like you and me, but is born spiritually of the spirit. Do not be surprised because I tell you that you must be all born again. The wind blows wherever it wishes. You hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it's going. It is like that with everyone who is born of the Spirit. How can this be? asked Nicodemus. Jesus answered, You are a great teacher in Israel, and you don't know this? I am telling you the truth. We speak of what we know and report what we have seen. Yet none of you is willing to accept our message. You do not believe me when I tell you about the things of this world. How will you ever believe me then when I tell you about the things of heaven? And no one has ever gone up to heaven except the Son of Man who came down from heaven. As Moses lifted up uh, the bronze snake on a pole in the desert, in the same way the Son of Man must be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not die, but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to be its judge, but to be its savior. Okay, that is the end of the reading. That was John 3, 1, 2. 1 to 18. One more verse. Those who believe in the Son are not judged, but those who do not believe have already been judged because they have not believed in God's only Son. Do you believe in God's only Son? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do you? I hope you do because that is what Jesus is trying to tell Nicodemus. You have to believe me when I tell you you have to be born again of the Spirit eh, through water and baptism. Now, last week we learned that the Bible is the source for the, our spiritual guidance. Today we will see that the Bible is also our source for new life in Christ Jesus. And that is what we have read here. The Bible tells us that we are, were all born sinners. But it also tells us that because of Jesus Christ and what he did for us in the, on the cross, we can have a new life free from sin. Yeah, and that is what we learned from 2 Corinthians 5.17. Now, just to test you, when did, Jesus, when did Nicodemus can, come to Jesus? Well, Nicodemus came to Jesus at night. Now, who did Jesus say would see the kingdom of God? I have read here that he said those who will see the kingdom of God are those who are born again. Yeah? Born again, not from our human parents where you go back into your mother's womb. No. But you'll be born by the Spirit. Yeah? And when you accept Jesus as your Christ, and Savior. Now, what did Nicodemus ask Jesus? He asked Jesus, how can a man be born when he is old? How can you and me be born again when you're already grown up? Yeah? How is one born again, according to the verse 5? He must be born of the water and the spirit. How is being born of the water and the spirit different from being born in the flesh so you need to understand that being born of the flesh means the physical birth yeah how you and i came into this world through our parents we were born physically okay the other is the spiritual birth this spiritual birth means you accept Jesus as your Christ and Savior. And that way you will see also the heaven. Yeah? How do you ac accept Christ? You also declare that and you're also born again through 
the water and spirit. What is the spirit compared to in verse 8 and why? So the spirit is compared to the wind, yeah? That is what we talked about here. The wind blows whatever it, uh, wherever it wishes. You hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it is going. It is like that with everyone who is born of the spirit, okay? Now, when you hear someone say, born again Christian, I think you'll be able to now understand what that means that they have been born spiritually again. You should know what they mean, of course. Being born again is more than just changing clothes. In fact, when you're born again, your outward appearance does not change. What changes is the inside, your heart. Yeah, Have you accepted Christ in your heart? When you're born again, you no longer belong to the world. You belong to Jesus and this new life is not temporary like our bodies it is everlasting and what is the source for this new life Jesus is the source of this new life we know this because it is the Word of God the Word of God is the source for new life and that was the lesson for today source of new life in Jesus Christ that is where you get it. And the Bible also teaches us that with the story of Jesus and Nicodemus. And when Nicodemus came to Jesus at night, he asked him all these questions. And now, if you had the same questions, now you understand what the difference is between being born again when you're already born and being born again in the spirit. So thank you so much, and I'd like us to pray. Our Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for the lesson that you have given us, that we can now be born, by, born again by the Spirit. And we ask you to come into our lives and bless us and help us understand through your word, through the Bible, what it means to be born again. We want to thank you for this lesson and for that understanding now that we know what it means to be a born-again Christian. We want you to be with us during this day and the days to come and be with our friends and family wherever they are. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, guys. So I hope you have now understood the lesson and what it means to be born again. Have a good day. Bye.